Hey guys, because of COVID-19, all professional sporting activity has been canceled. So here at Trending Sports News, we want to keep you entertained. So here is one of the NBA games that would have been played today using NBA 2K 2020. Enjoy and please stay safe. Guard that you found to defend. Well, I would start off with a guy named Allen Iverson. <laughs> And the reason that I, I start with a, that, Kev, a, well, yeah, well, the reason Allen. I start with Kevin is I just saw the back of the jersey all the time, so I remember Iverson, <laughs> clear as day. Uh, but if I went deeper, I would tell you guarding the Hall of Famer Mitch Richmond at a time when he was playing for the Sacramento Kings, they would run an offensive set, much like for Reggie Miller, multiple screens by a bunch of guys who were big and strong. That was not good for me to try to fight through those kind of screens. But if you gave Mitch Richmond eight inches, two points. And Richmond was strong and had bulk to his body. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I can see the bruises. <laughs> now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brother, in the backcourt. Chris is out there with Green, and it's Wiggins in at the three. Now here's Thompson. Outside Curry. Launches it. It's rebounded by Houston. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Harden, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Good on the shot. And off the schneid here, one of five, but that's a big one. Rockets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Outside, Covington. And it's off the back rim, no good. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And that one's good. House. Here's Curry. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. The pass to Wiggins. Chris kicks to Curry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Yeah, feel for him right now, guys. He's much better than this one-for-four start. He just needs to relax a little bit out there and let that game come around to him. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And here's Chris. James Harden getting it to go from deep. He can't get it to go. Rockets have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. At the elbow, it's Wiggins. Chris pass to Wiggins. That one goes. Count it. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, he is looking confident. Love. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. Curry with it. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Shoots it up. Rebounded by Tucker. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens. There oh, he goes. You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. Wow, he was up there, Kevin. <laughs> and I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. And now here's Chris. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Harden. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And the wide open shot from Green. Sinks the triple. You know, this team spaces the floor so well. And Draymond Green, if he's selective, can be somebody who can operate at the three-point line. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, 
truly a special play. And here's Wiggins following the three from Austin Rivers. Knocked loose. And it's the Rockets on the break. McLemore with the ball. Left block shot on the way. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Here's Poole. He's guarded by Rivers. Pass to Poole. Shot clock at six. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good move. Rivers dishes to McLemore. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Wiggins drives in. That shot is off. And Houston the other way now. They beat the Warriors during their last encounter in San Francisco. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. It was definitely that defense that carried them to that huge win that night. You have to figure they'll be primed to wreak even more havoc here in this one. Here's Poole after Eric Gordon's bucket and the basket by Pascal. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort got burned on that one. Now here's Carroll. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Cracks in the tray. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Nine-point game. 20 feet out. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got six. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Five seconds left to play in the first quarter. From deep three-point range, James Harden getting it done for the Houston Rockets. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. And we return to the second quarter, and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Uh, well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. They've got Matt Lamar. Austin Rivers is out there with Russell Westbrook. Then there's Green, and it's Carroll in at the power forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. And it's Green missing. Warriors trail by seven, tipped away, stolen by Rivers. And then Rivers with the dunk. Impressive move off the dribble. You can see the confidence growing right now for Austin Rivers. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Greg, this season is the first time in the last four or five years that Golden State will not be the prohibitive favorites to win it all. I mean, back-to-back -back devastating injuries in the finals. Kevin Durant departing in free agency with time and health. Will they retake the throne? We'll just have to wait and see. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. For three, Westbrook, that one drops, and he's now two for five. I mean, the guy is just cut from another clock. No one is as competitive as Russell Westbrook. You know he's going to answer back. Fades back. Haskell's shot is off. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Shots good by McLemore. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. They grab their own miss. Here's Pascal. And finally, they hit one. 
Michael's got five points so far. Such a big part of what he does for this team, just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. And if there was ever a definition of a glue guy, Greg, it would be P.J. Tucker. He's so valuable to his team. You know, P.J. gives you production in every way, and his impact really goes beyond the stats. All the little things that coaches want their players to do, that's really the motto of Tucker's game. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Robert Covington's checked in for Green. Daniel House comes in for Ben McLemore. And it's Harden in for Rivers. Now here's Curry. He's got six. And Chris throws it down. Man, it seemed like Marquise Chris was not going to be denied, and he wasn't. Westbrook kicks to Harden. And that one drops for him. Harden's got the lead up to 12 now for the Rockets. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Fires the three. Here's Covington. Green with the rebound. Warriors trail by 10. Inside, stolen by Tucker. Here's Harden, and the jam by Harden. And it is easy to get spoiled watching Harden. He's had so many games like this in his career, but you still got to appreciate what he does. Golden State's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. On its way from Curry for two. Rebound by House. Well, he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And the D has gotten a little bit lax here defending the triple. Curry against Westbrook. From deep. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Curry. And we've got a moment to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for him. In the last few months, the rebounding has, has sort of taken a bit of a dive for him. And, and a lot of factors could be the cause, but it's a trend that Coach would probably like to see him reverse. Gordon's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And the Warriors also making a change. Kevon Looney is checked in for Chris. Brent, talk about the length of the season. Commissioner Silver is also considering proposals to shrink the season. What do you think? I think it'd be interesting, and I'm not sure financially how the league goes back from an 82-game season and ticket sales and revenue and television and how they kind of unwind what it is they've agreed to. But 70 games to me in terms of the competition, Kevin, in terms of the elevated play of the star players on a nightly basis, the fact that you probably get stars to appear in every game and not be sat out for load management and things like that, I think overall it, it'd be pretty healthy. The Rockets making a switch here. Carroll's checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Wiggins is checked in. Harden. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Coming off that loss against the Nets, here's Curry. And that one, good. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Gordon outside. You can't get that one. And Golden State will come the other way. Thompson for the triple. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Gordon, the pass to Harden. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Harden's got 18 points. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight for him. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Harden's got 21 in the game. And defensively, you got to respect Harden's ability to drive. That just makes him exponentially more difficult to guard out at the line. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And it's Wiggins missing. Harden scanning the floor. And another three for Houston. They have a good plan going right now, and they're starting 
to create separation. The well, game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Mono e mano. This is where it can get a little personal. Yeah, again, you can't take this too far to make it too selfish, but that exchange, that's fun to watch. And so that's the end of the first half. Houston on top, leading by 14. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David, performance so far from James Harden. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green is out there with Chris, and it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And so far this season, it's it's been average at best at the line. Only 71% as a shooter. Rockets leading by 11. And for Steph Curry, certainly one of the best to ever play. Iguodala said last season, uh, Brent, that he's already the second best point guard to ever play in pro basketball. Well, high praise from Andre Iguodala. And, and why wouldn't you talk about Steph that way? You tally up MVPs and titles and his impact on the game and what he's done to change the, the way the game is played. The case for Steph Curry to be the top point guard ever is getting stronger and stronger every season. The guy that he's going to have to knock off the top of that shelf, I think, for most everybody who's been basketball fans for a long time is one Magic Johnson. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And the Warriors with possession here. They trail by nine points. And the shot goes in. Well, you want to push Clay into those areas, and it's a little bit deflating when he starts to make perimeter jump shots more towards the inside. Now, here is Harden. He's got 24. Yeah, I mean, maybe he could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his fifth foul. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Rivers, he's checked in for the Rockets. Here's Chris. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Tucker finds Harden. Back to Tucker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Thompson. Replay angles are interesting. Brent, instant feedback on social media. Talk about the increased pressure now on referees to get every call right. So, so many times, Kevin, on nights where you're working games, you sit there for a minute and a minute and a half. In super slow motion looking at the play. And, and still sometimes hard to get it right. Very hard. What I think the league should think about doing with the competition committee is every team in the league should have three and four cameras that are mounted so that every time there's a replay at any given arena, they have access to the same angle. Where, every game. Every game. Where are most of the times these calls being missed? Where are these calls getting wrong? And how is it that we can implement some technology to help us not only get it right more often, which is the most important thing, but also fair and balanced vision for the referees to have an opportunity to do so. What an excellent idea. The Warriors have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And, and how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. And, and you know, you see it every day, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill that Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. That's one he knows he should have drained. And Wiggins throws it down. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Warriors trail by five. You could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting alone puts him in the conversation, and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism, but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. 
Here's Curry. The Rockets making the shot. And he banks in the layup. Curry's got 13. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. McLemore. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston. On Sunday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. And then on Tuesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, these small forwards may not be the biggest players in the NBA, but they can still get up there. They're leading their position in block shots since the All-Star break. Andrew Wiggins, number one. And typically, you have your centers or power forwards contesting the shots down low, but he can come flying in from the wing to block shots. Houston making some changes. Damari Carroll's checked in for Green, and Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Austin Rivers. Gordon kicks to McLemore. And beyond the arc, Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Wiggins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the inside, smile again, and the shot is good. He has six. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's Carroll. D right on him. Now here's McLemore outside. Another miss by Houston. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. An offensive rebound. And he hits it to tie the game up. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now flow. And that one's good, Westbrook. And, and that's just shaking my head moments right there. Westbrook, as fast as he is, can stop on the dime, rise up, and the defender's helpless. Now here's Wiggins. 14 points for him. And Wiggins throws it down hard. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Robert Covington's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. Just an incredible month of basketball. Fifth in scoring, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And as you said, one of the NBA's most potent scorers. Always up to the challenge. His top five ranking has him right there with the elite. And here's Golden State. They're on a 16-7 run. And it's Houston on the break. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. And the athleticism always been NBA caliber. Carroll showing it off there with the finish. Higgins outside, pass to Looney. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Well, he played a seamless first half, but in the second half, some poor decisions right here. He continues to throw the ball away. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Or three, Westbrook, and another three for Houston. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Here's Curry. They get it again, Looney. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second-chance bucket right there. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here, and the Warriors making a change here. Chris has checked in. McLemore inside the line. Again, the Rockets score. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And now, here's Chris. And here's Thompson. Makes it off the glass. Thompson's got 10. 
and, and not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. And McLemore kicks to Gordon. Here's Westbrook. Warriors with the rebound. Chris has got his sixth rebound on the night. Thompson for the triple. But they get it there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Now just a big defensive mistake there. I mean, it's like three points. You want to harass Steph, but when he goes to the free throw line, we know it's pretty much automatic. Always one of the league's best free throw shooters. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Rockets lead by two. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And now we take a look back to Mike D'Antoni talking to his team. Come on, guys. Come on now. Let's go. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action. All fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Rockets. Harden and Gordon are out on the wings. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's House in at the power forward position. Now here's Harden, following the miss by Draymond Green. Can't hit from in close. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Houston in the lead. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Gordon's running. Lays it up off the glass. Gordon's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Houston. Great finish from Gordon in traffic. You like to see the smaller guys operate down low as long as they're patient. Chris pass to Curry. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Westbrook with a nice D there. Here's Covington. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And it's a six-point rocket lead. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Passes to Chris. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Rockets making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. The feed to Curry. Golden State moving it around. And there's the pass to Thompson. Six to shoot. Knocks it loose. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Rockets leading by six. From deep Harden. And another three for Houston. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out here like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Now a timeout called by Golden State. The short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. Andrew Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Thanks, David. And they get it. Here's Chris and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. Thompson against Harden. Kept alive by Houston. Tucker. No dice from nine feet out. Warriors trail by seven. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And how about the court awareness there? Peripheral vision of Curry. Strong feel for when guys are uncovered finds the open man. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Westbrook. 31 points for James Harden. 
He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Goes up on the wing. That one off the back iron and out. Houston leading by seven. Let's it fly. Raymond Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry with it. Westbrook picks him up. A three. They get it back. Three. And he uses the glass on the way up. All those weapons and Draymond Green ends up being the guy hurting you. What a huge shot. Timeout call. The Rockets. And coach is looking to seize every advantage. Maximize every possession. You gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, James Harden. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Outside Gordon for the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson in the corner. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Now, just a three-point rocket lead. And that is a potential game-changer. Thompson maintaining his calm and coming through. Harden gets to Westbrook. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Rivers, he's checked in for Houston. Here's Westbrook, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And the Rockets lead by five. Golden State's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight, seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Curry can't get it to go. Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. Now, here's Westbrook. Westbrook missing again. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter. Curry finds Green. There's Chris. Three-pointer on the way. Eric Gordon with the rebound. To the paint. There's Covington. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it goes on Draymond Green. No question. He got bumped on that shot. First free throw is good. And that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Curry against Westbrook. Fires for three. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. Oh, man, the baby-faced assassin stepping up right there. Such a great score, and what a situation for Steph to get it done. He's not doing his team any good by taking shots from that range. Yeah, the only thing that kind of shot helps with is your opponent's chance of winning. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Drops the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Stephen Curry hits them both. And he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Now here's Gordon. Westbrook drives in. Back to Gordon. Houston moving the ball around. Westbrook double team. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, you can guess right or you can guess wrong. And with Westbrook, many times defenders are wrong. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So it gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Timeout called the Warriors. 
They're trailing by four. 36 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Thompson. No good that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game time. And Westbrook throws it down. It's a certain mindset, Kevin, right now to want the ball at the end of games, and Westbrook has it. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by six. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the final quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. It falls! And now they trail by just four. A dynamic offensive player who just makes this machine go, the straw that stirs the drink, and step from the mid-range that time. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a six-point ball game. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. There's the three. Here's Chris. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Robert Covington picks one up. Marquise Chris getting more and more used to using his body on the inside and dealing with the contact. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And stolen by Wiggins. Launches a three. They get it back. Here's Curry with the three. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Now Steph doesn't mind with defense draped all over him or a hand in his face, still getting that kind of shot off. He had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with James Harden. James, what is it like when you're playing a team that's struggling and you have to keep focused to keep them down? You know what? We look at the bigger picture, and we have one goal. At the end of the season, that's to be champions. So uh, we can't play down uh, to the level of our competition. You know, we got to go out there every single night and uh, you know, be on the same page and try to give 100% effort. It's been a success so far, James. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. 